The examples we've seen so far lead us to the following conclusion, namely that power in a voting system is not the same as the number of votes. Because the power to pass a resolution will depend on the quota as well as the number of votes that a person has. Okay, actually to analyze the power structure in a weighted voting system uh, we will need some definitions at this time. So first of all a set of voters who vote all the same way is referred to as a coalition. The weight of the coalition is the sum of the weights of the voters in the coalition. And we will say that a coalition is a winning coalition if the weight of that coalition is not less than the quota. Okay, let's look at an example now. A town has a council of 20 members. Nine of these members are Republicans. Eight are Democrats and three are independents. Now we're going to assume to simplify this analysis that each of the parties will vote as a block. So if you're all the Republicans vote the same way, all the Democrats and all the independents vote the same way. Okay, so we're going to list all the coalitions. Okay, so basically what we need to do is just consider the subsets of RDI. Okay, and of course these subsets should be should not be empty. Okay, so of course at first we can consider each of the individual parties on its own. So Republican, Democrat, and Independent can each be considered a, as a coalition. And then each of the uh, three parties can be paired with one of the others to form a coalition. So Republicans and Democrats could team up and that would produce a weight of 17 and that's going to be a winning coalition of course assuming that simple majority will pass a resolution. And the same thing for Republican Independent which produces a coalition weight of 9, of 12 I mean and the Democrat Independent producing a weight of 11. Each of those is a winning coalition. And then finally, of course, if all three parties agree on something, such as honoring the American flag or something of that nature, then uh, of course we have a winning coalition. Okay, one more definition. We will say that a voter in a winning coalition is critical if when that voter is removed then the coalition is no longer a winning coalition. Okay, so for example, we would like to identify critical voters in each of the winning coalitions in the previous example. Okay, so let's back up and look at these winning coalitions. Okay, 
Okay, in each of these three coalitions, each of the voters is critical. So for example, here for RD, if we remove either R or D, then we would no longer have a winning coalition. And the same thing is true for RI and DI. Removing either one of those parties from the coalition gives us a coalition which is no longer a winning coalition. Therefore, each of the voters in each of these three coalitions is referred to as critical. On the other hand, in this coalition, RDI, none of the voters is critical because any one of these three parties can be removed from the coalition and then we would still have a winning coalition.